the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Genesis Invitational. Today's coverage is just about to begin. Welcome to Hollywood in Los Angeles. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam, and we're here at one of the great golf courses on the PGA Tour, the Riviera Country Club. Oh, what about this place? Well, you said one of the great. No, 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 no. This is the best course they play on tour all year long. By a country mile. This is my favorite golf course from the moment I park my car in the parking lot and I walk into the men's locker room. I see the old faces, old friends. I get to walk along the wall of champions, the pictures, Ben Hogan, all the iconic winners around this famed club. I can't get enough of it. I am the happiest I've ever been when I set foot here and when I leave, I'm so sad. I love this golf course, everything about it. There's not a easy, straightforward shot out there. The opening hole is the easiest one. But after that, put on your boots because it is about to get difficult. I find that all the players love this iconic venue, and that's why it brings out the best. Everyone comes to Hollywood with a dream. What's your dream? Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. You've been here a long time, haven't you, today? You have way too much energy for me. Caffeine's just kicking in now. Oh, boy. Well, this is bold. Their eyes are opening up. Headed for the green. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Well, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. It's on a great line. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. Time to tee off at the second. Well, Rich, I'm pretty sure this player will be beaming with pride after that eagle. Let's see if they can keep the momentum flowing. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? And this shot from about 150 yards out. Going with the eight iron here. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. This putt coming up is for birdie. This one has eyes for the hole. And down she goes. He's currently tied for second. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. That's tidy. And now we go to the six where this happened just a moment ago. But how about this shot from Patrick Cantlay?
good look here for a second shot. And it drops into the bucket. What a shot. Let's return to live play now. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Oh. That one had eyes for the flag the whole way. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Currently four under for the event. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Ah, that's a little untidy. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, from where I am, it looks around 27 feet, I'd say. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. And back to the course with the live action. Time to step into the bunker now. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that's a great save. What an effort. It was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. Why not take another look at that effort? There's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Sitting at four under for the day in a share of the lead. Opting for the nine iron. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? <laughs> Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Ooh, 
caught by the hole. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Oh, nice looking putt. Yeah, you'll take that. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Well, guys, I'm here on the eighth hole. This is Patrick Cantley's next shot. Sitting at three under par. Currently tied for third position. Oh, almost went in. Are you kidding me? Nasty lie out of the rough, but look at this in the hole. Can you believe it? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The sixth hole at Riviera is one of the most famous par threes on the West Coast, Rich. An absolute beauty. It looks like a giant green donut with the bunker right in the center of the green, doesn't it? I love this hole. Looks like they've got the five wood. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. And this putt will take them to five under. This putt is of nine feet. Hey, that's a chance. And in it goes for the par. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. <laughs> Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. <laughs> it's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. was bang on target. Big pass over coming up for this fella. And down it goes. Time to recap Bryson DeChambeau's effort from just a little while ago. Always lovely to see a long-range bomb made. Let's recap it. Nicely hold. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. It's time to begin this powerful hole.
Nicely done. It's been a good year. Three wins so far this season. Good shot there. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, I'm down on the ninth. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. Two over for the day. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Oh, Rich, how good is that? Tough bunker shot, no bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. They're lining up the birdie putt here. If it's up, it could be in. A well hold, he'll take the birdie. And that will take him to five under. Nicely played, moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That'll work, that's fine. Second shot here on the ninth hole. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Well, oh, that's beautifully judged. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Solid par putt, that. And as we make the turn here, Rich, our player tied for the lead. Yeah, exciting position, isn't it? You'd rather have the lead on your own, but listen, tied for the lead, pretty good spot to be in. They're going to have to work to earn this victory. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. The power play. you got to love it. Oh, how about that shot? Taking out the big stick and going ahead and knocking her on. Love it.
So close to the eagle. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to six under. He's currently sitting in second. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Teeing off here at the 11th. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. That one's heading down Broadway. Interesting choice of the driver here. Not bad. Getting ready to play their third. Only one shot off the pace. Lot on the line here. This putt for a share of top spot. And racking up their fifth booty of the day. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Oh, you've made it. What a play. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Sitting at seven under par for the day. Currently tied for top spot. Looks to be going with the six iron. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. That's a little wayward. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. And here we are with the third shot. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And our intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. I'm down on the 13th hole, following Ian Poulter. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, what a shot! and mark him down for a birdie. Ooh, tasty little pitch shot. Gets it to go. Fist pumps all around. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Looking shot this. Yeah. 
sitting at seven under, currently tied for first place. Going with the nine iron, I think. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. That's just inside the range. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Job done. Let's head to the next. And that makes him tied for first. Here we are in front of a par three. to be going with the five iron. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. It doesn't matter how you hit it if you can hold putts like that. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And it's time to recap that play. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. A chance now from the bunker for an up and down. Whew. You're kidding me. Did he hold that? Oh, trying to hit a little punch shot, and they do to perfection. What a shot indeed. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Bit disappointing that one. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this lie look like, mate? Well, guys, the lie is, you know, it, considering the situation is pretty good. Hopefully, they can get a hold of this one. <laughs> Nicely done. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Looking great now. Terrific roll. It even had a chance. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And the putt drops now at eight under, heading down the stretch. Just a small sliver of a lead. This could go any different direction down the stretch. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Three holes remaining, Luke. 
This is getting awfully fun. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, oh, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Oh, well played into birdie range here at the 16th. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. And man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, we're on the 17th, guys. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. Playing their fifth shot. Wow. Well, that shows the hands of a surgeon, doesn't it? My surgeon's hands were a little shaky. That's why I have the scar. <laughs> Putting for birdie. Good stroke. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Currently nine under for the round. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. The last genuine scoring hole at Riviera is certainly this par 5 17th. Any hopes of getting it home in two, you better come up with something special off the tee and make sure to avoid the bunker on the right-hand side. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. This would be a great up and down from this spot. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. A little punch shot here. Oh, yes! What a result! Fantastically played. Okay, let's get back to the action. Well, Rich, this won't come as a big surprise, will it? Because there's a lot of people talking about this player. They've been performing beautifully all season, and many think they can win this event. Luke, absolutely. Week in and week out, this player has consistently performed at the highest level. I got to believe he's a lot of people's favorites to win this tournament. And here we are with the third shot. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Great looking shot, this. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Gotta like it. Two in a row. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. One of the most famous finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich. This 18th at Riviera is a classic. Aim for the palm trees in the distance, which are located just on the left-hand side of the green. A good tee shot there will set up an awesome-looking second. That should find the fairway. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. That was a thing of beauty. You got all of that one. Going with the five wood. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green in reg here. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Oh, 
Well, you've got to take your hat off to them. That's an outstanding performance. And to win around a golf course that was known as Ben Hogan's Alley. Well, this is going to go down as an iconic win at an iconic venue. i got to say, to win at Riviera, I believe, places you among the tournament's elite throughout the years. This is a storied venue, and this was a storied win. And I've got to give props to my boy in the booth, Rich Beam. I think you picked this one at the start of the week, didn't you? Luke, it's just, it wasn't a difficult pick, let's be honest. This player has been consistent all season long. Getting the victory, no surprise whatsoever. Really good stuff.